The most basic physical aspect of playing any brass instrument is, of course, breathing. Unfortunately, there are many young players who do this incorrectly, and there are many people who don't conceive of it properly, which can cause problems later if they become a teacher. There are too many youth who don't understand the role that the ribs play in breathing. The expansion of the ribs to the side is commonly missed, but it's crucial to have a proper and free breath. In order to help students understand this concept of the ribs moving, I found it beneficial to have students put their hands on their sides like this, or like this, while they're breathing. When they take the breath in, they'll have the noticeable motion in the arms. It's much easier for them to understand than they may not feel it in that case. You may find you have some students who don't feel this. There are two ways that they may be breathing. They may be breathing with the rib seen simply as a rib cage, as people often call it, where it's stagnant and does not move. The other case is that you may have students who are chest breathing, so their chest is actually moving up rather than out. In either case, the easiest way to deal with it is to have them conceive of pulling their ribs open. Not to physically grab and pull, because that will hurt, but to keep the arms in place and think about the arms pulling the ribs open. In many cases, students will find this is very sufficient and it will usually solve the issue. However, it's important after that to get the student to take a free and natural breath without conceiving of the ribs pulling open. In most cases, the issue will be resolved but if they continue to try to pull the ribs open, they're only going to increase tension rather than decrease. Some of your students may think that the ribs are moving outward when in fact they have the chest breath. This is something that you as a teacher will have to watch for and identify in your students as the students may not be aware of the difference. Another common breathing issue is general tension throughout the upper body. Understanding the movement of the spine and the role it plays in breathing can be very helpful to deal with this. I'd recommend you read Barbara and Benjamin Conable's What Every Musician Needs to Know About the Body, or for trombone players and teachers, David Vining's What Every Trombonist Needs to Know About the Body. Pay special attention to the exercise on breathing while lying face down on some pillows. It's very illuminating and young students seem to particularly enjoy this exercise. Be patient. Body mapping is hugely beneficial, but it can take a great deal of time for a student to understand and conceptualize the concepts, let alone to actually put them into everyday practice. If you have body mapping questions, consult a certified Andover educator or refer to any of the resources listed below.